the testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. It is good to be back. Uh, we got a sensational win today from Tyson Fury. We're going to chop it up, break it down. What does it all mean? He also says he's uh, ready to retire. Um, it's interesting. But before we do, please like, share, and subscribe to 3D Boxing, all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Also, the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, Texas Boxing Scene. Um, all proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is also Autism Awareness Month, so uh, please, please like that channel, subscribe to that channel, share it. Um, it's a, a, a foundation, it's a charity, it's a cause that's very near and dear to our heart. All right, let's get into uh, today's show. Um, ty- for, first off, Tyson Fury's performance. I give it an A. It's a really, really good performance. He showed why he's... Uh, He's the best big man in the sport. And I don't say that includes Usyk because you guys know that I think Usyk would beat him. Uh, but we look at these big guys, you know, these really big heavyweights. He's in a class by himself right now. Um, and you can see how really non-competitive White was and, and, and how competitive Wilder was. You know, Wilder's really, really good. You know, Wilder's a great heavyweight. White's a good heavyweight. And you see the difference. White was never really competitive in that fight. At any point, was right white really competitive in that fight? Um, you know, he wasn't totally outclassed at points. Um, he was in the fight, I guess, to a degree. Um, but Fury was basically having his way with him. Um basic, basically Fury did what he wanted with him. Um I, I thought it was a good performance uh, from from Fury. Um, you know, White couldn't do anything um to kind of slow his rhythm you know he couldn't he couldn't get him uncomfortable in there he couldn't he couldn't do anything to him you know fury was was it you know in his groove right he was in his groove and and i said like it's gonna be a long night for for fury because uh for white because fury can do this all day and he ended up not having to end up stopping with an uppercut interestingly enough um white who i think is a pretty good heavyweight it's been stopped three times and i believe all three times has been with an uppercut all right uh aj stopped with an uppercut pavette can stop with an uppercut but just stopped the both the left and the right uppercut. It's interesting. He's obviously susceptible to uppercuts. Um, you know, he's defensively flawed. We knew that. Um, but he's a big puncher. Um, and as I say, he's not as big a puncher as, as Wilder. It doesn't have to be, right? Because he can stop you. He can change the fight with one punch. <clears throat> um, he just didn't get that. Uh, you know, he had to. I, I thought, you know, after about four rounds, I said, he's got to go over broke. He can't, you know, he can't just get outboxed by Fury. Um, a because you could see him fatiguing, you could see him breathing heavy. He was he was slowing down, he was breaking down. Um, so he, he wasn't gonna, you know, as we got deeper into the fight, he was gonna fatigue and he was gonna have less and less of a chance to land that big shot. And then um, you know, it, it, winning the, it was, was on the scorecards was was out, right? But he was breaking down. He needed to get in there. He needed to disturb the rhythm. He needed to disturb the groove of Fury, right? He couldn't let Fury get in his own, right? Fury has a habit of, of falling asleep and, 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 you know, taking some big shots. He did it with Wilder. He's been knocked down four times by Wilder. He's been knocked down by Steve Cunningham. He was almost stopped multiple times by um, Otto Valin. Right, so he's a guy, and it's not that he's defensively flawed. He's defensively really, really gifted. Right, he's the most defensively gifted heavyweight maybe ever. Um, so, but it's it, it's these momentary lapse of reasons. Right? It's, it's just like he's out to lunch sometimes, and he gets caught with a shot, and that's what Fury had to do, uh, White had to do. White had to pressure him. White had to get inside and make him uncomfortable, and he never really did that. You know, I'm not saying White was content with losing the fight. He obviously wasn't. Like, you know, some people will say White was the mandatory challenger since December of 2017. It's not really true. Um, but um, you know, he he was motivated for that fight. He was trying to win that fight. I just I I didn't like the game plan. I I I, I you know maybe there's nothing he can do. Maybe he wasn't he didn't have the ability to get in there and disrupt Fury. You know, 
I don't know. You know, it's easier for me to sit here behind this mic and say, yeah, he should have done this. He should have done that. I'm not the one in there having to execute, right? Um, but White showed what he is, which is just a notch below. Now, Fury showed what he is, which is the, which is the, the, the best boxer of any big man. I still don't see how he beats, you know, He's still he's not as quick as he used to be, right? He's walking away around with way too much weight, in my opinion. Um, I, I think two fifty is a good way. He did not look lean, right? Like I, I still think Fury, uh, you know, I, I still think Usyk gets in and out on him, and Usyk is able to outbox him. He can outwork him on the inside. I, I think Usyk is still the best heavyweight in the world, but Fury is building a legacy for himself. Now he says he's gonna retire, guys, or he's thinking about retiring, or he's ready to retire, or whatever he said. You know, um, I wouldn't put too much stock into that. It's it's Tyson Fury. I don't know, man. <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, if he retires, how will he be remembered, right? If he retires, he's going to walk away without fighting Usyk, which is the fight everyone wants. Um, and he would walk away without fighting AJ, which is the fight everyone on that side of the Atlantic wants. Again, he can walk away whenever he wants. It's up to him. I mean, he's made plenty of money. It's his life. It's his brain. It's his future. He can walk away whenever he wants. Um, I don't really buy it, right? He may walk away for a while, but he's such an erratic guy, right? Like expecting a rational kind of thought out opinion, thought out actions from, from Fury is kind of not going to happen, right? Like he's kind of all over the place. He's kind of erratic. Um, so I, I'm not really subscribing to he's, gonna do what he says he's gonna do right like he may retire but he may be he may retire you know like tom brady didn't come back a month later say i'm out of retirement or he may stay retired or he may sign a fight and fight two three months i i don't know right so i wouldn't put too much stock in that what i put would put stock in was, was that performance from fear was very very good he showed why he's 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 undefeated heavyweight right he he, he shows why he's so difficult to beat you know, he's got so much skills and he gets in this rhythm and he's boxing from the outside and then he's got power I never want to hear anyone question Tyson Fury's power again. I also will double down on what I said. Alex Alexander Usyk absolutely beats this guy. Now, I don't know if we're ever going to get that fight. Usyk has you know issues over where, where he's at. Uh, you know th things that he wants to take care of. Things that you know things that he has to do that are more important to boxing him. And now Fury, he says he's going to retire. Um, I don't know. You know, um, it's possible. But it was good to see Fury back. It was a really good performance and a spectacular knockout from Fury. Um, and I want to see White back. You know, I I don't think, like, if Fury retires and, you know, the belt becomes vacant, you know, White might be able to get it. <laughs> you know, White's really good. So I, I don't think White's done, although this is his third brutal knockout, so that's up to him. And I don't think Fury's done. I think we'll see Fury again um, at some point within the next 12 months. Um, you know, what, what, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Would you like Fury's performance as much as I do? What do you think of White? Do you think Fury or White are done? Do you think they're both going to retire? Do you think neither of them are going to retire? Leave your thoughts, comments below. Do you think Usyk is still the right guy to be able to? How do you see that fight going down? Uh, leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Also, the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is Autism Awareness Month, uh, so it's near and dear to our heart. Please like, share, and subscribe that channel as well. Uh, it is It's now technically April 24th, 2021. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.